Hello and welcome back to the Troglodytes channel. Today we're going to talk about another idiot. This is an idiot who lives in Boston. Usama Rahim is this guy's one of his aliases. He has two other Muslim names plus his real name. But that's neither here nor there because he can't use them now. He's dead. You know why he's dead? Because the idiot brought a knife to a gunfight. Again. Uh, he's threatened to go down to Texas and behead a lady for uh, blasphemy, they called it, because uh, she had people drawing pictures of uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Well, you can do that here in America. You see, we don't care about pictures. That's freedom of speech. But anyway, he says, no, I'm going to do that. And he says, then I'm going to kill me some cops. So the FBI got wind of it, and then when they found out that he went down and got him a knife from Amazon.com, got him a got him a big one, K bar. Then he takes the thing out, and I guess they confront him at the bus stop and say, "Hey, put down the knife. We need to talk to you." And he started making threats against them. There were five of them, one of him. They had guns. He had a knife. Being the Typical ghetto snipe. He don't care. That's the way of the ghetto. So the dude with the knife lost a gunfight, and that's the way that happened. Now Daddy gets on the on a TV and he said, "Oh, I was talking to my son on the phone, and and the, he was just waiting at the bus stop when they attacked him, and and they shot him in the back, and he he had his hands up, and the last words he said were, I can't breathe.'" Now, okay, let's take a look at where he got all this crap. I can't breathe. That was the other ghetto snipe in New York who was selling illegal cigarettes and didn't want to go to jail and he fought with the police and he lost. Shit happens. Then we go over to eastern Missouri. And we had another ghetto snipe. He was a robber. He was a thief. He was a bully. And everybody said he had his hands up and he got shot in the back. They found out that was different. So you see, he's picking up everything he can to get the ghetto all stirred up to see if he can get another riot going in Boston. <coughs> you and I know that's a whole different ball of wax. So, the video proved him different. The guy standing there with a red face and a Muslim hat on, trying to make up some kind of excuse why he told people that, but there was no excuse. It's the way of the ghetto. You get the public stirred up at the police, and then you get a riot going. Well, it didn't happen. This is one more idiot off the street, and guess what? no riot and the cops did the right thing my opinion for the day have a great day like my page I'll talk to you later